Hi everyone, it's me Tom and today I am back on my bike through the Dutch city of Leiden trying to avoid cabin fever and trying to catch some trains on camera. Um, I'm still in Leiden. Actually, today I am in the city of Leiden instead of around it. In my last video you saw me head to the tulip fields to catch some scenes of trains and today there is a bridge behind me and on that bridge is where the inner city trains between Leiden and Utrecht run. Now remember the trains are running under a special coronavirus timetable which means that frequencies have been cut in half. So normally there are two inner city trains and to Utrecht and from Utrecht and then also two sprinter trains, local services between Leiden and Alphen an der Rhein. The sprinters have been taken out, the inner cities are what remain, but wait a minute, I thought only sprinters were running during the coronavirus timetable. Yes, on most stretches like the places we saw in my last video, it's only local trains and they've removed all express trains. However, to call the train between Leiden and Utrecht an express is a bit much. They use inner city rolling stock, which is great, Wi-Fi, comfortable seats, and the distances are longer than a regular local track. But here's the thing, the express train stops at all intermediate stations. So take away the express and you're taking away all service. That's why for this railway, NS has chosen to keep the inner city trains instead. And those are the ones I want to see today. Behind me is the Kronestein Park. The weather is a lot nicer than it was last time, so there's more people out, but we're keeping our distance. Um, this is the bridge I'm talking about. The trains run over this bridge, and what do you notice? That's right. There's a gap in the wires, and this is a very cool thing about some Dutch railroad bridges is they have powerless bridges and that's because this bridge opens and shuts when a boat wants to pass under. And because the wires would get in the way, many bridges were designed without wires. Correction, this bridge doesn't open and shut, it swivels. So the bridge won't open or close today, but I can show you some details and some interesting facts. So if we look down here, this is the swivel mechanism. Up there, that's the control room. I don't think it's staffed right now. And then, look, open sky, no wires. And so how does that work? A train's pantograph is spring-loaded, so it's the wire that's holding it down. But when there's no wire, wouldn't the pantograph just fly up and not come back? That's what those things are for. I don't know if you can see them, but these things push it down and guide it back to being on the wires. Now, another interesting fact is that because these bridges are more common in the Netherlands, Dutch trains have a spring stopper in their pantographs. I do not know what they are called in English. The Dutch word is a stout. And Dutch trains are equipped with these stouts because you never know if you'll come across one of these bridges. And those make sure that the pantographs don't fly up and away once they cross a bridge like this. Now this is a local line so it doesn't really matter here, but on some of the other lines where international trains like the ICE, Eurostar run, if these trains happen to cross a bridge like this, then their pantographs would do that and that would be a disaster. So when an international train crosses a Dutch powerless bridge, what happens is they lower their pantographs and so a train glides over the bridge without giving any traction.
so we're at the railroad crossing now. As you can tell, this is a single track railway, except that right there by the highway is where there's a brief double track section. And that's why timing is everything here, because the trains pass each other there. So if you get here at the right time, you only have to wait five minutes and you'll see both trains. I'm going to wait for the next two trains to come by. Um, right now I'm in the Kronestein Park. Look, more geese and there's people fishing over there. This is still in the city, but it's a nice nature area. Now, the bridges without the wires are my personal favorites, but there is another solution. Let's check out another bridge in Leiden that can also open and close, but where they've come up with a different solution. And for that, we need to go to that bridge behind me. Now this is the Rhine River. It's a different railroad line. This is the line to The Hague and Rotterdam. Uh, this one's a little bit busier. And unfortunately, this is the closest I can get to it because there's cars over there and then there's nothing but river until you get to the bridge. But we should still be able to get a good view of the trains from here. Now what's different about this bridge is that instead of wires, it has just a metal bar that's electrified and when the bridge opens and closes that bar goes with it it detaches and sticks to the top of the bridge so the trains do have power when crossing the bridge and they don't have to just use momentum to push forward Wow, that was a beautiful shot. This has been quarantine train spotting in Leiden with Tom. If you're curious about what Leiden actually looks like, because I've only really shown you the outsides of the city and the inner city is gorgeous, you're in luck because this summer I'm hoping to upload a series that kind of shows you the hearts of different Dutch towns and stuff to do there if you're a tourist and how to get there by train. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for other cool trains are awesome content still coming your way. We've got more and more. Subscribe to Trains Are Awesome if you haven't already, and I wish you all health and that this may be over soon. See ya.